Yo, what's up, man? I passed the CompTIA Security Plus test. It only took me a month and a half. I went from not knowing nothing to passing a test, and I'm about to show you how. Before IT, me and my dad had a fiber in the company that we was running, but it was too much for me. Um, it wasn't consistent enough. Um, it was good money when it when it did pay, but you got uh, people that didn't want to pay out the contracts and stuff like that. It wasn't consistent enough because with the weather as well. So. I decided to uh, let's go into IT. I also have fr friends and family that's in IT, which is helping me out right now. I'm giving you the stuff I was taught and I learned for you to pass. I'm a regular guy. I moved from Utah back into my uh, parents' place for the time being to pass this test and to get another job. So I'm regular guy for no background in IT to right now with passing the, passing the Security Plus test and ready to get a job and so forth and so on. I first started off with the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate on Corsa, that which taught me a lot about the foundation of IT, taught me everything I needed to know. Things like threat managing, network security, and how to protect data from uh, attackers. However, this course didn't really directly prep me for the Security Plus exam, but it's a good thing that like, it was a good foundation to start uh, with knowing everything so when I get to the exam, it's nothing foreign to me. So to prep for the actual test, there's three top YouTube channels which have their own own course and own pretests. I use all their pretests to get me right for the Security Plus exam. For these three, you're most likely gonna hear this three in every YouTube video. At first I was like, why is everybody saying the same thing? But it makes sense. So I'm about to tell you why exactly right now. First off, Professor Messer. This channel is hand down the, one of the best resources out there for you to learn everything for free. He has over a hundred plus videos, very detailed on everything that you need to know, like routing, uh, different type of phishing, all that, all you need to know for the Security Plus exam. But he also do have a course and he also has pretests. I use this pretest and they all are PDFs. So I, I don't can't I can't really do a course on PDF. So if you want to do a PDF course, by all means go ahead. But his pretest is PDF. And some people can't take uh PDF type pretests because they I don't know, they want to know if they're right or wrong at, at the time being. But on his pretest, he has three tests with 90 questions. And he has an answer answer sheet at the end. And as well, he has the same type of test with the answers under the question and why that's the right answer and why these are the wrong answers, which is amazing, which helped me a lot because you want to know why it's the right answer and also why it is the wrong answer as well. Because you, well, the more you know, the more e the easier the test is going to be, the Security Plus exam is going to be. So make sure you check him out for the pretest in his YouTube videos to get right. Next up, we have Cybercraft. His biggest asset is the PBQs. He goes in details how to answer PBQs and why it is what it is, which is very helpful for the test. Um, the PBQs I got on my test wasn't exactly the same as the ones he had on his channel, but it's, easy, it's good to learn and good to act, see why things are it is. I'm gonna tell you later on the type of PBQs I got. I can't tell you exactly what I got, but I'm gonna tell you later on. But Cybercraft, do got some great explanations in the videos. And he answered my emails when I did have a question about the PBQs i got on my test because i failed it i definitely failed it um but I, I asked him some questions i went back studied some more then i passed it so boom last but not least i have dion on udemy he has a course and pretest. i bought it but i only took the pretest, which is a very helpful pretest, in my opinion and the course you don't if you don't go the google course way i'll probably take his course to learn everything and watch the videos of professor messer but his pretests are very good um it tells you you can take a pretest where it tells you why the answer is wrong when you miss the question and when is why it's right when you get it right or wrong so that, that's very good so when i was doing his pretest more and more and more i started remembering the questions which is isn't very good it's a, it's a good and bad but you want to know why the question it is what it is and not just remember the question just from off the words you got to make sure for the test you actually read every detail of the questions then answer it so but also taught me a lot of things as well dion and professor messer pretests are two different type of pretests is worded differently and have different answer types so it's good to don't take in both if you if you would like so my biggest hurdle on the test was pbqs if i haven't told you before i've i failed the test twice and i passed uh i took the first test within a month of studying and I thought the multiple choices were very not easy, but like it makes sense if you study. So like multiple choices, like probably is gonna be the easiest part for you. That's why everybody tell you to skip the PBQs and go straight to the multiple choice, then come back to the PBQs when so you have enough time to answer everything. I can't really tell you what the PBQs I got, but I took the test three times, right? The same PBQs 
if not one different. And so if I had to tell you what to study and what to study, what I would study for again, if I would take the test again, it would probably be security architect, but I can't really tell you the question, but I can show you what other people were saying, what they took because that's them. Oh, we signed a we signed an NDA type thing in the beginning of the test where we can't explain what we had in the test. But these people did explain what they had and they had questions for it. So if you look at what they did, that's just almost saying what I got. So it is what it is. This video right here, I'm not gonna explain it, but this video right here has a question on there too, which is very, very, very good and detailed on one of the PBQs and it helped me on my test out of, you know what I'm saying? So that, so PBQ is probably the hardest, probably the hardest part of the test. So if you get past the PBQs and how to answer them correctly, you're all good, man. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, comment. Um, on this channel, I will be going from not knowing anything, which is right now, uh, to passing the test, which I already did. So now I'm gonna show you like different steps I'm taking to get a job. I'm gonna show you a lot. I'm gonna show you also lifestyle videos and me going to mixtures and stuff like that as well. So hopefully we have a great journey. I hope people hope you all subscribe, like the video. I hope this prepares you for your test and you getting ready to study as well. Um, this is all the things I use. I know people that just use Professor Messer by itself and still pass. I know people that just use Cybercraft by itself and still pass and. Thank you for taking time out of the day to watch my video. I hope y'all pass. I know y'all can. If I can, I know y'all can. I wasn't all A's. I wasn't a great student. I wasn't honor roll or nothing like that, man. I had C's and some B's, man. So if y'all can do it, if I can do it, y'all can do it for sure. Man, I appreciate y'all. Let's get ready for the journey, baby.